Pennsylvania Democrats met today to endorse candidates for three statewide races. Yes, Annika Bargo joins us now to explain why one race still doesn't have an endorsed candidate. Sonica. Mark Janelle, the state Democratic committee made endorsements for both governor and lieutenant governor, but no candidate for U.S. Senate received an endorsement. After two rounds of voting, Pennsylvania Democrats offered no endorsement for U.S. Senate. None of the candidates received two-thirds of the vote. There is no endorsed candidate. U.S. Congressman Connor Lamb fell just a few votes short at 60 percent. I think we showed that we have the strongest argument, not just to win the primary, but to win in November, which is what everybody cares about. He says he's already in a good position, citing his experience in Washington. I've cast a lot of votes, gotten bills passed under both President Trump and President Biden. Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman finished second with less than 30 percent of the vote. Republican political consultant Christopher Nicholas says that's a surprise for the number two Democrat in the state. The non-endorsement in the Senate race for the Democrats is a big rebuff. Other endorsements went smoothly Saturday. The Pennsylvania Democratic Party does hereby endorse Josh Shapiro. The state Democratic Committee endorsed Attorney General Josh Shapiro for governor and State Representative Austin Davis for lieutenant governor in the first round of voting. Both candidates are looking past the primary. We're going to take this message, meet people where they are, visit with them, listen to them. And we're ready to go out and build a coalition that's going to win in November. With a crowded Republican field, the state GOP is unlikely to endorse a candidate for governor or Senate. It's hard for state committee members to really winnow the field when it's so large. It's all up to voters in the spring primary. We're going to have a very competitive Senate race, Senate primary on both sides. And I think that Senate race is going to overshadow the governor's race. Republican consultant Christopher Nicholas also told me it's rare for Republicans not to endorse candidates for these races. The spring primary this year is on May 17th. In studio, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.